yeah Everybody knows that I'm breaking down Everybody knows I ain't faking now Everybody knows my heart's faking now Yeah, she hates me now, I made mistakes but now I don't ever wanna be alone I don't really ever feel at home On my own, in the zone That's the only way I know Feeling low, about to blow back up I won't ever let the doubt creep in Gotta pop a couple more aspirin I don't think I'll ever let you win Easier to break it off, best friends I don't really understand myself I don't really understand, need help I don't wanna be left on the shelf Couldn't even hear me if I yell it's so cold outside I'm alone, I'm alright It's so cold Hey guys, Kaskobi here, and today I'm going to be showing you every single thing you need to run a launchpad project on a Windows PC without spending any extra money on expensive software. Ableton Live Suite is the program we usually use to make our Launchpad projects, but as it turns out, in the recent Live 10 update, the full version of Ableton is no longer required to actually perform Ableton projects. So let's show you how you get this going. There are three things that need doing in order to get lights running in Ableton Live 10. First is setting up the Launchpad with Ableton after its initial installation, then you make sure your Launchpad works with Ableton, and then finally, you must configure the light effect folders to set up the lights plugin called the MIDI extension to get lights running in Ableton. Whip that launch pad out the box. And get some phantom stickers on it because you know you wanna. Cable it up. Download Ableton Trial from the first link in the description. Open Ableton. And hit save and export disabled to launch Ableton with no time limits. Get the Preferences tab open so you can mess with stuff. Head over to the Look and Feel tab to make it flashy. Wait, no, that's not it. Go to Link and MIDI to let Ableton send stuff to your launchpad. Then, in the Control Surface window, pick out the launchpad type you have, and I'll show the types on screen now. Not the launch key setting, though. I have actually seen people do that. Don't be that guy. Then in the input and output settings, select your launchpad. If you have a launchpad pro, there will most likely be three ports here. Just choose the top one. Finally, you want to turn on the track and remote ports for the input and output of the launchpad channel you picked. The lights plugin now needs downloading, and the folder can be found in the second link at the top of the description of this video. Once you've got it, it goes in the following folder. In your user area, documents, Ableton, user library, presets, midi effects, max midi effect, and then put it in here. If you can't find any of these folders, just create them, and Ableton will find them later. An optional extra is to download Wormhole from the third link in the description, and put it in the same folder as the midi extension folder we just placed. This will let you automatically change pages and that kind of jazz. Finally, head to your C drive and then type in program data in the address bar to access a hidden folder. Then in Ableton, your version of Live 10, resources, max. And in here, next to max 8, create a folder called MIDI EXT, exactly like this. The upper and lower case letters must be identical to this, otherwise the plugin won't work correctly. This folder is where the lights folder of a project goes. Once you've created this folder, add it to your favourites tab in Explorer to make it quick and easy to access light effects from inside Ableton. To learn more about how to actually set up and perform the project, head over to my project setup tutorial which will be linked on the screen here. Or click here to see how the same setup process is done on a Mac. That's everything you need to know for the Windows setup process. Thanks for watching guys, let me know in the comments if you have any problems or questions, and the answers will be in the pinned comment down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video.